Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a gift to be gathered on this Lord's Day for worship, and there's a lovely energy in this place today. So welcome those who are gathered here and those who are joining us online. We hope you'll let us know of your presence here using the QR code in the bulletin or one of the paper forms in the pew or online. And if you have prayer concerns, uh, we invite you to share those. We gather as a staff Wednesdays at noon in the chapel to be in prayer for those. I want to thank the over 170 people who gathered yesterday to pack food for hungry families in High Point and Greensboro for our first annual Meals Meals. Uh, it was a wonderful celebration and also is going to provide food for, it will go to 10 uh, public high schools and those boxes of food will get sent home to families who need them. So thank you for your service yesterday. I am most grateful and we look forward to doing that again next year. I want to let you know that John Alexander will be giving an organ concert at 5 o'clock here in the sanctuary. Where else would it be, John? Right? I mean, we can't exactly move the organ, so, um, but that will be 5 o'clock on Sunday, and I hope that you will come and experience that night of music. Also, Gate City Voices, which is a new choral group, will combine with Bel Canto for a concert Saturday, May 21st at 8 here in the sanctuary and Monday the 23rd at 7.30. And you can find out more information at the belcantocompany.com. Friends, we are a people of prayer, and I invite you to be in prayer for those who are grieving this day. For the family of Joan Armstrong, she died May 6th, and her service will be June 11 at Wellspring. And for Doris Bernhardt's family, Doris died May 10th, and her service will be here in the sanctuary on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. We hold these families in our prayers, and indeed all of those who mourn this day. We remember the families who are grieving the terrible tragedy that occurred in Buffalo yesterday. We also remember the people of Ukraine and all of those who are fleeing violence. We come here to bear witness to the love and peace of God to be shaped and formed by that so that we can go out into the world to be light and leaven and love. What we do here matters, not just for our own sakes, but for the sake of the world. Let us continue in our worship. Please stand and join me in the call to worship. Come among us, Jesus, you whom the angels worship and the children welcome. Come, Jesus, and meet us here. Come among us, Jesus, you who hurl the stars into space and shape the spider's weaving. Come, Jesus, and meet us here. Come among us, Jesus, You who have walked the long road to Bethlehem and lit the flame that dances forever. Come, Come, Jesus, Jesus, and meet us here.
Friends, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is eager to forgive. Therefore, with the confidence of the children of God, let us confess our sin together. Loving God, in Jesus you offer life to the world and love to its people. When we see life only for ourselves, forgive us. Help us to hear your transforming love, speaking to us of respect, dignity, and worth, telling us that we are loved and that we are to love one another. In the knowledge of this love, work through us to bring your justice and peace to the world in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old has gone, a new life has begun. Know that you are forgiven and be at peace. And since God has forgiven us in Christ, let us forgive one another. The peace of Christ be with you. Please be seated. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we turn to your word for us, may the Spirit of God rest upon us. Help us to be steadfast in our hearing, in our speaking, in our believing, and in our living. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Listen for the word of God. On that day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have ye still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? This is the word of the Lord.
once there were three young trees growing on a hilltop, dreaming of what they might become. And the first tree said, I'll be a chest with a silver lock in a house of a wealthy lord. He will lift my precious cover to reveal what he has stored. Diamonds, rubies, dazzling gems, pearls and gold and all things good. I who hold the priceless treasure. And the second tree said, I'll be the mast of a sailing ship at the front of a mighty fleet. The royal flag above my head, the deck beneath my feet. With wind and sail, I'll pull the boat as smooth as angels fly. The king himself will sleep on board. Through the And the third tree said, I will grow straight and tall. I will rise above them all. Branches lifting as in breath. All will look to heaven when they see me pointing there. Seasons came and went. Then one day, a group of people came up the hill carrying axes and saws. They cut down the first tree. They cut down the second tree. And sadly, they cut down the third tree as well.
The first tree was carried to a carpenter's shop. The second tree was carried to a dockyard. And as for the third tree, More years passed. And then one day, into the barn where the first tree was now a feed box for animals, there came a young man and a young woman. And deep in the night of a winter's day, in the quiet of the barn where the first tree lay, the woman and the man found a place in the light, and the woman had her firstborn child that night.
more years passed. And then one day, into the boat where the second tree was now a wooden bench, there stepped a young teacher. And late in the heat of a summer's day, in the back of a boat where the second tree lay, on a lake where the waves rolled cold and deep, the man on the bench fell fast asleep. What of the third tree? Well, one day soldiers found that tree and laid it across the back of an innocent man who struggled to the top of a tall hill.
Please join me as we say what we believe. <clears throat> we are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect and creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope, in life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> let us each one turn to God and let us pray. We thank you, God, for the gift of children. They are a blessing in so many ways. Truly, may their dreams always lead them to you. They carry the hope of the world and already are bearing witness to you. And although we do not know the dreams that you will breathe into them, we know that you are a calling God who will call them in the fullness of time. Remind us all, Most High God, we are your hands and feet and the voice that tells your story. As we pray the prayers of the people this day, we are reminded of how you stilled the storm at sea. There are so many storms today around this world, so many crises. There's the storm of our refugees of Ukraine trying to find safety. There's the storm of women victimized by the Taliban as well as other places in our world. There's a storm of millions of people who just are trying to find a home. And then there's the personal storm that is known only to you. Come to us, Lord Jesus, and whisper into our world, whisper into our storm, the peace that only you can give. Lastly, O oh Lord, to this body of Christ we pray. We pray a dream, a dream that you will help them fulfill the calling that you have given to them. Give to this body of Christ the prophetic courage to proclaim your word to a deaf world. Give to this body of Christ a shepherd's heart that nurtures the wounded in our midst. Lastly, grant wisdom and energy and patience to lead, even when the way is not clear. Hear now, O Lord, the prayer where you taught us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As I call for the offering this morning, just be mindful that our offering supports many things. Music, for instance. Music moves us into the presence of God. It sets a tone of reverence and touches us deeply. Music has the power to bless, the power to heal. And we are grateful for the music ministry here in this church. May our gifts always support our praises to God.
May we pray. We dedicate these gifts to you, O Lord, and to the ongoing work of your kingdom here in this place. May these gifts transform lives. In your name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord be kind and gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace.